Hello, K-Rock. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Not too bad, but I'm a little bit baffled here. Van Halen performing at Scotiabank Place March 21st. The opening band is Cool and the Gang. Really? Yeah. Well, there's nothing that says hard rock and metal more than Cool and the Gang. <laughs> you think? Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a head scratcher. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, they obviously have a method to their madness. I wonder what that is, though. Uh, maybe they just want everybody to celebrate and cherish the moment. <laughs> oh, who is this? It's Jim Barber from Napanee. Jim, that is awesome. Uh, I don't know. I can think of probably better ideas for opening bands. Do you have one? Well, there was actually a negotiation, and this is not big secret because I've written about it, that Live Nation actually wanted Triumph to reunite and open for Van Halen. Triumph would be awesome. Yeah, so that never happened. Now, to me, that would have been a dream show. Get a young up-and-coming band, you know. Get some young up-and-coming rock band to to introduce to a larger audience. I mean, a lot of people may not remember, but uh, in 1977, in early 78, when Van Halen was getting started, they opened for this band called Black Sabbath. Imagine that. And... Van Halen basically blew Black Sabbath off the stage and solidified their reputation as the hot young rock band of the late 70s. That would totally make a lot of sense to give some up-and-comers a chance. That would be brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, you know, how about, oh, I don't know, Narrow Zero? Love it. What a great idea. That would be amazing. You know, there's a hot up-and-coming band that's got a lot of attention and a lot of potential and would put on a great show. Absolutely. Yeah.